I'm Ian Van Leesman, I'm from the Department of Maths and Stats and my partner was Vale Dawson from SMAC. Okay, we're trying to address just basic mathematical concepts, abstract concepts and basic problem solving skills. Um, we're also looking at motivation and engagement. The unit that we actually did this project in was a large first year service teaching unit, roughly 250 students, but only about 10 of those students are actually mathematical students. So the rest of the students have a little bit of a problem understanding the relevance of mathematics to them. So we do have a bit of a trouble with the engagement and motivating these students to study mathematics. So that's what we're trying to address as well. So it was only a very small scale. We only choose one mathematical concept, the exponential functions, which only makes up probably 10, 11% of all the mathematical concepts taught in the unit. We used online videos, mainly YouTube video clips. And so the research tells us the literature that the students understand concepts better when it's presented to them visually. So what we then did is we just choose a mathematical concept and we look for online videos that put these concepts in practice. That is basically practical applications in the real world. So then what we did is we had four lectures where we first discussed the material. Then the students were invited to watch online videos based on those exponential functions. After watching those videos, the students were then asked to complete uh, questions based on those online videos, which therefore put them into practice again. After the students done these questions, we then went over the questions and we solved them in the following tutorial. From the responses in that questionnaire, the students did seem to indicate, or well, they perceived that having watched those videos and participated in this e-learning task, that they did understand exponential functions better. So the learning outcomes, at least in that topic, did seem to improve. From the comments in, that, in those questionnaires, the students did seem to be positive. They did enjoy that for being a change, because normally mathematics, when we teach them to them in the past, has just been text-based diagrams. So this was the change, actually had a video to watch, something a bit exciting, something different. So they did appreciate that difference. And instead of sitting there reading the textbook, solving the questions from the textbook, well, here's a video, watch the video, and here's some questions relating to that video. So it made a bit of a change for once. And yeah, they actually enjoyed it and they participated in it. What worked well was the videos that we actually did source, that we did come up with. I say one of the hard things we're trying to find videos which were at a level relevant to this unit. Quite often you could find videos which were too simplistic or too hard. So the videos that we did found we were very happy with and probably what worked best was the development of the questions to go alongside with the video. They just seemed to uh, really good questions. They did have these real world applications and so what we'd like to do in the future and improve upon is expand it into more areas. Again, the areas of complex numbers, differentiation, integration, and that is something that we're currently working on. The hardest part in the task, and when I say hard, it's not really that hard, was again, just sourcing the videos and developing the questions. But once you've overcome that, to actually implement it, there's not much overhead really involved. So to roll it out across all your tutorials, the workload for the tutors isn't anything extra. Whether to discuss questions which are from a textbook or based on an online video that the students watch, it makes no difference at all. <laughs> students do seem to learn more when they're more actively engaged. The whole idea was to make it more interactive, increase student engagement, and we found that that could be achieved by using these online videos.